Hey, Karen Balencic here. I was asked recently to elaborate on what I mean about the art and science of conflict mastery and collaboration. So I thought I'd make a video and share it with everyone. So let's start out here with first the science. And from my perspective, when we look at the science of conflict, it's a really important thing in terms of really learning the basics of physics. And if we look at Newtonian physics, we can study force and power and how those things engage with each other. And actually, conflict, by definition, how I say it, is force against force. So it's like this. And so we can play with what do we do when we change those angles. And as a, a mechanical engineer, I actually think about vectors. And when we have conflict, I can actually in my brain, I see vectors going against each other and how do we move those so we get the best outcomes. So that's one aspect of the science. The other aspect of the science is over many years, psychology has created a lot of different techniques to use when we have conflict. And, and so the science aspect is when we have techniques and tactics to deal with conflict. And so that's the science part. And I, I liken that to if I were wanting to become a really good pianist, I'm going to start out with, with tools, tactics. I'm going to learn to do the scales. I'm going to learn how to read notes, read music, and I'm going to be pounding things out for a while. And that is the science. It's the tactics. It's the techniques. Now, where the artistry comes in and what I've witnessed and experienced over a lot of years is I can have all kinds of tactics and techniques, but they don't always work with everyone and in every situation. And that is where artistry comes in. And that's that creative aspect of being able to, to master conflict. And what do I mean by that? Well, you know, when I was an engineer, you know, the, the, the science part of that, when you're dealing with mechanics and electronics and fluids, those are, those, those are really kind of set things. But when you bring in human beings, and of course you're a human being and you're usually in there as part of the conflict, there are emotions and pattern behaviors and there's, um, there's, there's moods, there's all kinds of environmental things. There's so many different variables. And of course, from person to person, from day to day, they're always different. So the artistry comes from being able to be creative in the moment to be able to adapt and adjust to meet that moment. And that's where we become more conscious with ourself in terms of what's coming up for me in this situation. And we also can be able to read other people. And if we can't quite read them, we have the courage to be able to speak up and engage what I call enter into to explore what's going on. So and in, from a piano standpoint, if I, I become the artist when I've practiced my scales and I've really got the basis, I've got the grounding, and then then I can become more fluid, I can add more ideas, I can do, and then I become, um, and I'm not a pianist, but I can become something that people pay to come listen to because they, they love the, the beauty of the artistry of that. Now, what, is, what does it mean in terms of the other part of this is what does conflict mastery mean? And, you know, most people are used to the language conflict management, conflict resolution and and all of those things i use the term conflict mastery because conflict is a given and what we want to be able to do is to engage in it in a way that creates it innovates and it honors and that's the basis of my work with spiral impact and i should add that my work is all grounded in the martial arts. And you can see in my back wall, I've got, I've got some swords and calligraphy and stuff, but my art is Aikido, uh, which is all about position rather than force. And so it, same thing with, with Aikido and with my spiral impact, we have 
we, we began by learning techniques. We learn very specific things that we practice and we practice and we practice. And then our artist, artistry comes in when we get comfortable with those basic techniques and then we can adjust and adapt because certainly just like in life with people on the mat, I, I have people that I can do one technique really easy with and then the next person is like, I can't even get them to move. And so that's where the artistry comes in. So that's it. I would love your questions. Um, would love to, you know, comments, questions, let me know. And until next time, own your power and get stuff done, but do it with grace. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.